I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market and congratulations, you have just purchased the Mila Compact C1 Pure Suction Canister Vacuum Cleaner. We love this vacuum because it's very lightweight yet is very, very powerful. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm going to tell you what you should have in your um, box that you just received and then what each of those components are and then how to use them and really maximize your cleaning experience. So. Um, what I'm gonna do right now is ask you to unbox everything and make sure that you have everything that you see here. And I'm gonna walk you through that right now. So you should have your canister body, you should have your telescopic, telescopic wand, you should have your manual, um, your, this is called a Vario clip. This is what your um, three little cleaning attachments are going to attach to. Um, your upholstery tool, your crevice tool, and your dusting brush your handle, believe it or not, this is a handle, your hose, and then your flooring attachment. So this is your dual function attachment that'll allow you to clean your hard flooring and your low pile carpeting. So take a few moments and just make sure that everything that I just mentioned here um, that you have, if for some reason you are missing something, please reach out to us right away. We'll do um, whatever it takes to make it right. Um, but this is everything that you should have just taken out of your box. So the great thing about Mila's is they come um, with the bag and the two filters that you need pre-installed in the canister body, which is really nice. Um, so these two filters, you're not gonna have these additional, these are pre-installed. I'm just gonna show you a little bit more in depth um, about those. So this is your wand. It's a telescopic wand. And how you do that is you will um, squeeze this, it's kind of like a sleeve, and then you can extend or retract um, your wand so you can reach um, higher or lower or, you know, in cracks and crevices. So this is really great. Um, this is your handle and this is your hose. And then this dual function head, how this works is you are going to toggle between either hard flooring or low pile or delicate carpeting or area rugs. And how it does that is you're going to press that lever. The bristles are retracted into the flooring attachment right now. So this would be for carpeted surfaces. So you can glide across carpet. And then when you press out the bristles, this will protect any hard flooring that you have. And um, this will allow you to glide really easily over your hard surface flooring. So that's your flooring attachment. Now inside the body of your canister, first of all, how you open the body of your canister is there is a little lever and you're gonna squeeze that and you're gonna pull it away from you. So if you squeeze that, that's how you open your canister. And you're gonna see a few different things right here. Um, this is your bag clip, this is your bag. And how you remove your bag is you would just, um, there's this collar on the bag. And this is the only thing that you should be taking out of your vacuum cleaner. This bag clip is our most commonly replaced item. People think that you have to rip this out, but this bag clip actually holds your bag in the perfect position um, so that debris is only going into your bag and not in the rest of your canister. So um, if for some reason you do pull it out, it is easy to put back in, but if you've lost it, um, please let us know. We have these readily available. Um, this is your air clean filter and how you access this filter is you will open this grate and then you will take out this filter um, and then you will uh, dispose of it. Don't wash it and reuse it. Um, these filters come standard with your boxes of bags. And then there's another filter inside your canister and there's a little pull down grate and that houses your motor filter, and that's a little spongy filter. So these two filters, you're supposed to change every four vacuum bags or every one box. So there's a different um, combinations of boxes of bags and filters that you can purchase. Just make sure you're changing your motor filter and your air clean filter every four bags. So to install your bag, the arrows, the direction of the arrows on the bag are going to match the direction of arrows that are on the bag clip. So you're just gonna slide your bag inside and then you're gonna tuck this in and then close up your canister. So if you don't put your bag all the way in the clip, you can't close the, your canister. So that's Mila's kind of foolproof way of making sure that you have a bag in your vacuum. I personally have vacuumed my floors without a bag and please 
just take my advice. That's not fun. <laughs> so um, on the front of your canister, this is the, um, the Mila logo. And then below the logo is going to be the name of your vacuum cleaner. Um, so the, the name and then on the back is where you would find your model number or your serial number. And the reason I'm telling you where these things are and um, how to locate them is because if you want to register your, pro your model with Mila, you'll need your serial number. And your serial number starts with zero, zero slash and then a nine digit number. And then your model number is also on the silver sticker as well. And that is gonna start with an S and be followed by either letters or numbers or a combination of both. So. If you know either your name or your model number, we'll be able to tell you what bags, what filters, any replacement accessories that we have available for your machine. So it's kind of a little bit selfish for me to tell you, but it's for me to help you um, uh, get replacement bags and filters and any accessories. So on the front of your machine, there is a little dial. Most of them come on minimum suction. I recommend you turn it all the way to the right, which would be maximum suction. Minimum suction would be all the way to the left, and I'm gonna go from left to right and tell you what each of those weird symbols mean. So the first one would be is a drapery, and that is minimum suction. And then you go up to an upholstery um, suction setting. Then you go to an area rug, um, a ear symbol and the ear symbol is for it's your ultra quiet mode it's very good if you are vacuuming while the kids are sleeping or if your pets are really sensitive to the decibel level of the machine it just operates at a lower level so it's a very nice feature that um, these Mila vacuums do have and then after the ear setting is going to be your carpet setting and then finally your hard flooring setting so we recommend that you vacuum primarily on your maximum suction. It's gonna give you the deepest clean, um, biggest bang for your buck kind of thing. Um, but if you have any delicate carpeting, please turn your suction down at least one notch um, so you're not damaging your carpeting fibers. So now that um, we kind of went over your bags, how to install it, make sure you install your bag, I'm gonna show you um, how to assemble your machine. And um, first I'm gonna show you this little U-shaped clip is called a Vario clip. And on the opposite side of it, it'll tell you where to put your tools. And um, so you're gonna attach your upholstery tool, your dusting brush, and then your crevice tool. And then I'm going to turn this vacuum like this, and we are going to attach your hose. So there are two sides of your hose, the smaller side and then this larger side. So this larger side is what you're gonna attach to the canister body itself. And there's a little indent and it'll match a little protrusion on the canister. So you're just gonna clip that in. It may or may not make a sound. And then this is your handle. And your handle is going to connect to your hose, but I do want to show you there's a little slide on your handle and you can open this. And what that does is if you don't want to take the time to have to bend down and change your suction, or if you have a rug with tassels on it, or you have a delicate piece of furniture, this is a really easy way of just adjusting your suction. It lets in a little bit airflow. Um, and so you can, you can open it or you can open it as, as little as much as you want. So it's a really nice feature so you don't have to keep bending down to adjust your suction. So you're gonna attach your hose to your handle and that will clip in. And then from here, we're going to attach your Vario clip and there is a little indentation here. And again, a little protrusion on your hose and then you can clip on your cleaning attachments. So they're easily accessible with the compact machines. They made these so lightweight and so small to be able to store anywhere and be lighter weight. So, you know, it's nice that they included this Vario clip because you, you do have very easy access to those cleaning attachments. So then from here, if you wanted to attach one of your cleaning attachments to the base of your handle, you could do so. And this is really nice feature if you're going to like dust the keyboards or if you're going to clean out your cars, um, any upholstered surfaces. It's really nice if you don't need the added length of your wand. It's a really nice feature to have. So then you can attach your wand to your handle. And again, how it telescopes is you're going to squeeze the sleeve and either extend or retract your wand. And then you can attach it to your flooring attachment. 
So this canister, um, if you see on the back, there's a little slot and it can sit just like that. So some people like to store it this way. There's another um, slot on the side of this as well. So you can store it sitting upright. Um, this is also a really nice feature to have so you don't have to keep turning your vacuum on and off. You can simply slide your flooring attachment into your machine, go run and pick up the toys that are in the way or move the dog around. Um, very nice feature to have so you don't have to keep bending over and turning your vacuum on or having it um, go vacuum up like a curtain or a blanket or something when it's laying on the floor. So. This is the Mila Compact C1 Pure Suction. These are all the attachments that you should have um, received with your machine. Again, if there is anything that is missing, please reach out and let us know. Um, we will help you with anything that you need. And then if I have not answered a question that you may have, again, please reach out to us. You can reach out to us on our website. We have a live chat feature. You can call us or you can email us. I'm Lauren with Vacuum Cleaner Market and happy vacuuming.